Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, this particular one is a TBD one, of course, and I actually got this from Timu. I actually, I made a door properly. This is from Timu. There you go, there's your model. <laughs> uh, if you have not seen the video of how I got this delivered to me, you will uh, have missed out on seeing this getting thrown at my door by their delivery guy. So what we are going to do is review this model now and hope that there is nothing broken inside. Now, there is... It is like a generic Chinese brand, so there is no um, no real name on it. So if you can speak Chinese, feel free to drop in the comments of what the uh, name of the company is called, because there was no branding on it or anything that I can read, obviously. Um, so if that means something towards the name of the um, company, please feel free to uh, drop that in the comments. Well, let's get this uh, open. It is still sealed, so we will... Uh, hopefully have a brand new undamaged model but uh yeah the delivery method was a little bit uh, undesirable and there's that model sitting in there all right it does well look undamaged which is really good it does look pretty pretty cool um so we have uh, a little cradle um some landing gear options a little stick to pull things out oh that looks all right and we will open this up. Now this was like $45 or something. <laughs> uh, of course doing a video it's taped up so I just wanted to make sure because it was thrown that we do it all open at the same time. So if it was damaged no one can say oh you broke it for the video sort of deal. But there is a stand option in there. Uh, geez that looks very very hobby masters um, type this one uh yes <laughs> we'll move that out of the way and see if we can get this aircraft out uh. all right well that's a bit wonky but well it's geez it's got some reasonable weight in it i'll tell you that much we'll move this crap out of the way <laughs> And let's have a little look at this uh, generic brand Chinese version of a Devastator. Look, to be honest, straight out of the packet, the quality looks really nice. Um, I don't have any issue with that. Maybe that... I'm pretty sure that should be a little bit straighter. Do we dare to bend it on camera? Because my OCD is going to go nuts having that... That's a little bit better. <laughs> um, it does have a lot of detail, as I was saying. There is some uh, crew figures in there. Does the canopy open? No. So there's, I suppose, some pretty generic crew figures in there. There is a little bit of detail in there. Let's have a look at the engine detail. Oh, there is a little bit of nice engine detail in there. Does the propeller spin? It does spin pretty freely, which is really nice. The panel lines themselves are really good as well. Uh, look, I am not disappointed with this. Disappointed with the delivery method, but not the actual model, which is fantastic that it uh, wasn't broken. And for, uh, what was it, $45, and that was with the delivery. I think I had to pay tax. So it probably owes me about 50 bucks uh, with the taxes that we get charged when we buy from overseas. Um, I reckon it does present pretty well. I I am quite surprised, actually. I did not have high hopes um, for what this was going to be because of the price. Because we did do that Skymax one, which was really brilliant. Let's turn it over and have a little look underneath. That's pretty shiny, but it's got... Uh, yeah, Arista hook does not move or anything. It's got the tail wheel on there. And, of course, it's got some uh, torpedo details. And the areas where we've got to put our landing gear. So, uh, well, what we'll do is we will uh, chuck this uh, in flight and uh, come back and have a little look at it. All right, here we have this Devastator <laughs> set up for in flight. Uh, that's how she's going to look. Very straightforward. You just put those little uh, pieces in and that's your in flight uh, landing gear done. Uh, they are not as good as the Skymax ones for sure. They do look a little bit wonky. And, of course, you leave that open because uh, you've got to put uh, your stand on. That is the stand that does come with it. And uh, you just, if I can manage to fumble around and uh, put that on. So you can keep your uh, torpedo ordnance on because, well, you can't take it out. There's, there's no other option. You've always got to have this torpedo hanging out. 
and this is your awesome looking Devastator setup in flight uh, on the stand and uh, I reckon that this does look pretty cool for a cheaper version uh, I definitely don't have issue with the cost and what this model is uh, what we'll do though is we'll chuck this on the landing gear let's see if we can do that easily uh, we'll try this on camera we'll, uh, now we should be able to just use that tool to get these out so that should be a straightforward process like so and then we just put our little uh, plug in of course because we don't need to use that stand anymore and then of course these should just uh, plonk straight in and this is your aircraft done uh, gear down uh, very straightforward no no dramas with fitment they go in nicely the wheels don't turn so they are, are settled um, that one is a little bit on an angle in so that'll make it a bit hard when you're coming to land but it does set up very nice um, for a cheaper version of the Devastator if you can't afford the Skymax one definitely grab one of these these aren't too bad um, we'll just chuck it on the deck but yep definitely not a bad rendition for sure but what we're gonna do hey why not let's do a little bit of a comparison though so what we do is we've got the Skymax one here and this is the comparative wings look to be honest there's not too much difference uh, in quality wise it's got all the nice panel lines on both of those um, I feel the interior is a lot better on that Skymax one for sure the engine detail and the propeller Skymax is a lot better of course, there is there is a price difference between these two for sure. If I don't smash them into each other, but overall dimension wise, they look pretty similar. Um, I I think it's going to come down to how fussy you are with um, uh, accuracy and everything. Uh, there's there's a little bit of a an issue I think with um, the underneath where the the wheels the the quality is pretty good. Um, I don't have any dramas whatsoever in regards to that. Uh, the torpedoes are very similar. The way it's set up is very similar. Probably the aerial maybe at the front was a little bit skewy on the cheaper brand. Um, same with the telescope option um, on the front is a lot better on the Skymax one. But overall, the, these are both good models, but the Skymax one is better, but the Skymax one is dearer, of course. And I mean, the stands are quite <laughs> quite similar, of course. Uh, you got the uh, cheaper one here and the Skymax one here, uh, very, very much so um, identical. Just the base is just a little bit different. You'll find the wheels up options um, on the cheaper one are a little bit dodgier. That's the cheap, cheap one. And this is the Skymax one, which is a lot more detailed and a lot better. Uh, which is really weird because the options for the gear down are identical. They are both exactly the, the same. Uh, if you look at both those wheels, they are pretty much identical. So uh, the way they are set up. But look, once again, always you, the viewer, it's your choice to what particular type of model you want to get. Now, of course, the cheaper one is around half the price of a Skymax one. Usually, well, obviously, depending on where you're buying yours from. And um, I reckon both models are nice. Skymax is a lot better, but a lot dearer. So if you're tight on the cash and I want one of these, uh, get, get the uh, cheaper one because it does present really nicely as well. All right, I will uh, take some photos of this one, of course, because we have seen this awesome one before. All right, I will wind up the video and say thank you very much for checking out another one of our diecast reviews. I hope you enjoyed uh, this cheaper Devastator, and luckily it wasn't broken, and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a comparison as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our videos. Um, don't forget, if you do like, don't forget to throw some of those down my way, and always feel free to comment and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.